we as men want money for various reasons you know superficial reasons like buying new clothes a new car and a house and all those things and for more wholesome reasons like taking care of your parents taking care of your siblings your grandmother whatever but the truth is i don't think there's any factor right that motivates men to make money as much as women for most men there's no bigger motivation than women right which is why i've said in my other videos that men who have you know higher testosterone levels or libido generally are more successful in life and people been they love me <laughs> but like i 100 believe it i think i've seen it in multiple books where it was said that the higher your testosterone the higher the probability that you're going to be a rich man you know now maybe it's not 100 true but you get my point the point is men are driven like the most driven men in life most times were women even if they might not be actively driven by women right it might be something that a, a woman did to them in the past women are very instrumental but in men being very very goal driven i'm telling you have you gone to boys only boarding school before have you seen how scattered they are and unkempt but then if you go to mixed they are very very like organized now obviously it affects women too but in this case we're talking about men so like that's one very huge factor right that pushes men to work very hard in life women knacks in if you want us to be straightforward you know but one mistake that so many guys make, right, on this chase for money, on try to secure the bag when they are in their 20s is you 100% neglect women. Like, neglect in the terms that, like, you're not flirting, you're not, like, dating, not, you're not doing anything, basically, with women. You're like, okay, they should stay. She, she they want a man that's money. So, let me leave them first. When I make money, then I'll go and get them. It doesn't work. It, like, for most men, it just doesn't work. You might end up getting a wife, sure, because you have money now. But you're not going to get that relationship you want. That's the reality of things. And me, I didn't even know this before. Like, I think there are like two or three of my older videos where like I was like, you have to focus on the grind. Like when you make all the money, women will come. I think I have old videos like that where I was talking nonsense. <laughs> but the reality is, as important as money is, right? If you don't understand women, if you don't understand female dynamics, if you don't understand how men and women are supposed to work, right, from an early age, you don't understand these things whether it's because you dated multiple women like if you don't understand it the point is when you have all the money it will be very difficult bro, to curate gold diggers from girls that are attracted to you it's very difficult to after you find your girlfriend or your wife to maintain actual attraction it will be very difficult to be anything more than a walking atm machine it will be very difficult to understand like the things that women find attractive in relationships because you sacrifice your entire 20s for the bag and now you know nothing about women apart from the fact that you know they like money that's all you know about women that they like money you know and it's really not enough to foster a healthy relationship there are so many popular people who you know focused on the grind and you know you, if you look at the kind of relationships they have you know that they have absolutely no knowledge of women elon musk pj washington pj washington that's like an amazing example he's a popular basketball player you know in the Charlotte Hornets team, right? He, he was grinding his entire life, like from when he was young till he got into the NBA, and he probably never gave attention to women. And now he's paying hundreds of dollars in early money and child support because of that lack of knowledge of women, right? And for some reason, if you really check, there are so many athletes that go through this thing. Because to be a superstar athlete, whether in basketball, in soccer, you have to sacrifice your entire youth to get there because the competition is crazy. And for this reason, most of these guys, they ignore women. Like, they should stay. When I make the money, I'll go and get them. And when they make the money, they go and they marry gold diggers. They marry women that lead them to either poverty, depression, loss of a lot of money when they have to pay early money and child support. Like, everything comes down crumbling, right? That's just what it is. Now, I'm not saying that in your 20s, you should jump into the dating market and start knocking every woman, you know, left and right, sleeping with everybody. That's not what I'm saying. But I'm saying... Don't underestimate the importance of the experiences you can have with you. You don't even have to be sleeping with women like that. It's not about sleeping. Do you understand? It's about relating with them in very intimate ways. It's about flirting with them. But you have to understand how women think. You honestly have to. You have to. Having money is not enough. It really isn't. Even if you don't want to have a healthy relationship, you want to live that superstar lifestyle, you still need to understand game. You still need to understand how women work. Do you understand? Drake is not settling down with anybody. You think he doesn't understand how women work? The guy puts freaking hot sauce inside his, you know, CD. He, what, where do you think that knowledge came from? Sure you get. So, 
And that's just what it is. Even if you no one settle down, you want to live that superstar lifestyle, you still need to understand women, right? Beyond, <laughs> beyond what television teaches you, or be honest, be nice, be open, or we must be equally yoked. <laughs> beyond all those politically correct, beautiful statements that don't apply in real life, you need to understand the unflattering truths of relationships, of dating, of male and female sexual dynamics. Anyhow, that's all I have for the video. I also wanted to say, I opened a membership program recently, YouTube membership program, where my fans, friends, and subscribers, even though you guys are not necessarily my fans, you guys are my guys, can support me, right? Obviously, there are so many perks that you guys are going to get, like early access to my videos and so many other things, but at the end of the day, it's just you guys supporting your guy. So if you'd like to support me, you know, buy me a can of beer, Definitely click on the fourth link in the description and sign up and I'll be very grateful to you guys. If you like the video, hit the like button. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next one. Ego B.